V is for Vendetta is a film set in the future, where the United Kingdom is ruled by a fascist totalitarian regime, and it follows V, a masked vigilante who attempts to ignite a revolution within the people. Fear got the best of you, and in your panic you turned to the now High Chancellor Adam Sutler. He promised you order, he promised you peace. And all he demanded in return was your silent, obedient consent. In the film, we see Evie's parents, who were activists. Gordon Dietrich, a television host who satirized the government and others who stood up against the government and spoke their minds, captured, tortured, and killed. Any political opponents, immigrants, Jews, Muslims, atheists, homosexuals, and other undesirable people are imprisoned and executed, while in the past they were used as test subjects in a bioweapons program. I was there, I saw it all. Immigrants, Muslims, homosexuals, terrorists, disease-ridden degenerates. They had to go. Freedom of speech is not only the right to express any opinions in public, but also the right to express information, ideas, and opinions free of the government restrictions without censorship, restraint, or legal penalty. The security of this nation depends on complete and total compliance. Tonight, any protester, any instigator, or agitator will be made example of. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights guaranteed that everyone has the right to freedom of opinion and expression, including the freedom to hold opinions without interference and receive and share information and ideas through any media, regardless of frontiers. His hope was to remind the world that fairness, justice and freedom are more than words, they are perspectives. Daniel Ortega was president of Nicaragua from 1985 to 1990, after leading the revolution against the dictatorship of Somoza. But now, he has been in power since 2007. In 2018, after a set of social reforms, people started to protest, most of them students. Even though the marches started as peaceful, soon they got violence, and the protesters were met with brutal crackdowns and repression. Independent journalists and any person who tried to get information out were persecuted, spied, attacked, and even killed. By the end of the year, an approximate of 322 people had been killed, along with 565 people imprisoned, others fleeing the country or persecuted by the government while Ortega remains in power. The UDHR states that no one shall be subjected to arbitrary arrest, detention, or exile, and affirms that all human beings shall enjoy freedom of speech, belief, and freedom from fear. We must stand by these rights and hope for a future where all people are able to enjoy them. Beneath this mask there is more than flesh. Beneath this mask there is an idea, Mr. Creedy. And ideas are bulletproof. <laughs>